All right, the next muscle in our muscle series is going to be brachioradialis. So again, we have been covering a bunch of arm muscles so far in this series, and a lot of them use the word brachii, which means arm in Latin. Uh, and so there's a bunch of different iterations there. They can get really confusing because they all use the word brachii. Brachioradialis is sometimes called the handshake muscle or the a beer mug muscle. Uh, and it is a big muscle belly right here that comes down and attaches all the way here to the wrist. And what you can think of it as is basically returning the hand to here. Right? If you pronate or supinate the forearm, brachioradialis returns it to the handshake position. And so it keeps the forearm and the, and the wrist straight to the forearm. And then you use different muscles to either supinate, which is what I'm doing here, or pronate, which is what I'm doing here. And again, once you do that, in order to return to here, to the handshake position, uh, brachioradialis fires and, and keeps that locked. So the upper attachment or origin of uh, brachioradialis is going to be this side of the humerus and technically it's called the, the lateral supracondyle of the humeral shaft. All right, and so basically right out in here, the belly comes through here and attaches to what's called the styloid process on the radius, which is this bump right here. And if you can imagine this firing, right, if, if she supinates in order to bring her hand back to this position, this muscle belly is gonna fire. If she pronates, firing that's gonna bring it back just as much. And so basically it keeps the hand in this handshake position or beer mug position if you want to use that, whichever works better for you. All right, and so to release in here, you just want to make sure that you're on the belly right in here. And you could just come right into the belly and do a little bit of rotation of the lower arm. And that is going to ex basically pin and stretch the muscle. You can also fascially release along it. It's very long and thin, so you just want to make sure you don't dive off of it to one side or the other. And again, a little bit of pronation supination makes, makes it much easier to figure out that you're on the belly of the muscle. Cool. Have fun with that.